Okay, we're going to start the machine and see what's going to happen. This is going to be uh, voltage reading. So right now it's reading the battery voltage. Okay. <clears throat> so we have two 12 volt battery connected in series. Um, they're at 25.56 volts. And that's what we call 24 volt battery. Now, in order to charge these two batteries or start charging these two batteries, the voltage has to read, uh, reach 20 above 25.56 for it to charge. So uh, once it goes above this number, the amps, this is the amp meter, the amps start to uh, ri rise or start indicating what, what the amperage are. Okay, so this is connected to a 24 volt um, battery bank. Um, okay, so this this little gadget here tells me how much um, uh, how much energy I'm, I'm actually putting into this uh, generator to create this. Just just for my um, uh, knowing what the consumption of what I'm producing. Okay, so this is the putting in um, the consumption, and this is the producing part. Um, you guys have been following. This is the uh, the serpent versus coil uh, setup. I have two um, bridge rectifiers here. Uh, one this this baby here it's it's for the serpent, and this baby here is uh, for the um, uh, traditional coils. So. Uh, and the magnets are inside, and I showed you previous videos. The magnets are inside the brake drum, and um, you know what the rotor is all about in here. I connected them all in um, uh, the Y or star, you know, uh, just like a axle flux, same thing, no different, or an alternator, car alternator. <clears throat> so what I'm, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to just start it up. So I'm uh, I'm going to read the RPM on this. And uh, we're going to see um, at what RPM it's going to start producing a chargeable power, okay, under load. Uh, okay, well, that's, I think I said enough. Let's give it a go. So right now we are uh, using the uh, traditional coil, okay? So the bridge rectifier from AC to uh, DC using the uh, my bladder diode MacGyver thingy wing um, to make it DC and uh, so the test number one is going to be RPM uh, versus output on this iron um, um, alternator or a generator using the traditional coils. What do we got now? So at 103, I'm not making any power. So let's see here. Just watch that uh, volt. Once it start changing higher, then this is going to switch on. So I'm going to drop it down. Until I show you where the yeah the the uh, okay so right now okay so. Right now it's charging 0 0.04 of an amp. Okay, let's zoom in and show you. So remember what I was said I was saying about 25.56. So now it's above that. So therefore it's converting to amperage, and um, that's the amperage right now. So and this is the consumption. It's telling me. Um, well, we're not making any power, but it's it's almost freewheeling at, uh, and it's uh, consuming um, 37 watts just to run this sucker, uh, just to turn it over, pretty much. It's 
it's consuming not much. Okay, uh, so now let's see the. Um, well, we know that at this at this speed, whatever the speed is that I'm going to measure soon, it's starting to make power. So let's see what the speed is. The RPM. So at 113 RPM, so, so this sucker will spin at 113 RPM, you should be able to charge 24 volt battery bank. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you understand what I'm saying and I, I think it's straightforward. So at 113 RPM, this generator that I put together should be able to charge 24 volt battery system. Um, and that's that. So this is the, the traditional coils. So let's see what the um, Serpent is doing at the same RPM. So I'm not going to change anything. It's under load right now. Um, so if I... It's hardly any changes really. So I'm going to take it from um, uh, from uh, the traditional coil and put it on the Serpent. Okay? And let's see what happens. Because... And don't be surprised That is actually <clears throat> not reaching that voltage because <laughs> the serpent is making half the amount of the voltage that the traditional coils are making. So in order to reach that, I have to spin the son of a bitch much higher. So let's see what we can do here. To reach a charging power, I had to spin it at 236 with the serpent. 236, almost double what the other, it's more than double actually, because the other one was 130, uh, 113. So this, using a serpent method, this will not generate the usable power or charging power until it reaches 236 RPM. And then it starts making some juice. And this, with this, boys and girls, um, concludes my little uh, test. Uh, the funny part is uh, that I didn't show is it was uh, how much it was using on um, consumption but you know what it was just using I think it's uh, a little bit more a quarter more Anyway, if you guys have any questions or a different combination you want me to try, or I think I think I started this test and I I'm not surprised that that's what the results. Um, but the serpent does produce power, though. Uh, some says no, it should cancel each other or whatever. Well, it did produce power, but a higher RPM because uh, it's not a closed coil. So there's not enough loops, I guess. Okay.